What is up, everybody? It's your boy AJ Trip. Come at you with another reaction video. Uh, I, I wasn't going to get involved with this because I really think this is like a really stupid conversation. It really is, but it was my fault because I basically put on Twitter. Um, what was it? Was that um, Thursday? Last Thursday. You know that Michael Jordan wasn't. Um, no, he. Uh, you know, so, so something to the effect of. You know, did Michael Jordan ever? Be, was he ever? I, th I think what it was 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 Michael Jordan ever down by twenty points going into the fourth quarter. Of a uh, NBA Finals game. No, he wasn't. And if you and if you, and if you can find me the game that he was, then come talk to me about Jordan. You know about LeBron being better than Jordan. I had a gift, a gift of Michael. You know, just look, look going at that. You know, as I say, hush your mouth. Because that's what that's what you need to do. You do need to hush your mouth about it, you know, about Jordan being greater than, you know, LeBron being greater than Jordan. Excuse me, apologize. Jordan's greater than everybody. But now here we are. What that has led to now is now, after the two great games by the Warriors, are the 2016, 2017 Warriors. Greater than the 95 96 Chicago Bulls. Yeah, whatever. But here's a video from Sports Center uh, that uh, kind of. I guess I guess there are two people that are uh, two people talking about it. I think Kerry Champion uh, is is doing like the moderating. Uh, of it, or just asking the question. I don't know if she's doing the moderating or something. There's another actual debate. It's just like, what is it? Well, it's about a minute and a half, so it's not a debate. But it, he's he's just she's just there, I guess, asking the question. So let's let's check it out. They're basically saying that the Warriors currently constructed this team that we're seeing would hypothetically, oh, I saw hy you know, hypothetically mm -hmm. beat 95, 96 mm -hmm. Chicago Bulls team with MJ. Yeah. Would you? Or would you not agree? Investigate. Booking. This is it's it's a, it's silly. I know we're gonna do this, but it we're is. We're gonna do it. It's like we're we're not gonna talk about. This is a phone call that they called up. and They call the bookmaker, and the bookmaker's on the other line of the phone. He's probably hung over. He's like, yeah, sure, whatever. I put him at this line. Like, uh -huh. there is not much to this. It is a hypothetical. There is Bill and Ted's phone booth doesn't exist. We cannot pack the entire Warriors in you this and travel that. back in time. You don't know like that. this does not exist. This is kind of silly. <laughs> but that being said. I feel that the players, the game, the rules evolve. Sure. So yes, and I would say not just the Warriors, other current teams would beat that team because they shoot three-point shots. Okay, not just the Warriors, other teams. Yes. Sure. That's fire. Three, That's a fire team. Three is more than two, and the reality yeah. is the recipe to beat the Warriors, to me, is you need to have penetrating guards or wing players, which these teams would have, right? Yeah. The Bulls would have. But you also need a big man that can deter people at the rim and also get you easy buckets, which the bull the Bulls don't have. Okay. So I feel like that's the only way to give yourself a chance against the Warriors. Mm -hmm. But would you really bet against Michael Jordan? Yes. Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, no doubt. Michael Jordan's never beaten a team as good as last year's Warriors team. These idiots live in the moment. They really do. I mean, really, come on. You're just gonna sit up here and tell me that Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, and anybody else, then their, their game wouldn't evolve to this, you know, to this game. They wouldn't be shooting threes like the Warriors do. Come on, that's that's as silly and as sickening as the Michael Jordan is the greatest. The reason why he's not only the greatest basketball of all time, but he probably is the greatest athlete to ever participate in the sport is because he can get the best out of everybody. You saw what happened when Michael left at the 98. Now there are teams 
They went to other places, and Steve Kerr was good. It's, so so was Pippen. Robin like fell off the face of the earth somewhere. Played for the Lakers and the Rams, and he wasn't you no know, the same. And Luke Longley wasn't the same, and Tony Kukos wasn't the same, and he, none of these guys were the same. Really, it was only Steve Kerr was the same. And, and that's because he was basically a role player that shot threes, the greatest three-point shooter, percentage-wise, in the history of the league. So, he raised his day the same, but everybody else went down. Why? Because they, because they, there was no Michael to bring them up. So, please, this... Stop the bullshit. G guys, you're smarter than this. Greatest player of all time is going to win hands down over everybody. And at least in this sport, in basketball, maybe the, maybe the greatest player in baseball might not, you know, can do that. In, uh, and definitely in football because, you know, there's a lot of teams, you know, you know that's totally a, a team thing. I don't care about hockey. Who cares? Golf is that, but, you know, whatever. Who cares about golf either? So, listen, when you're talking about the greatest player of all time, he is going to surpass anything that they, that these guys do. So, let's stop the nonsense. Let's stop the bullshit. Let's stop talking about it, okay? I, the, the, the reason why I didn't make this a point-blank period in a discussion Type of thing is because I I, I I think for the most part from from from, from what I from right here and see for the most part most people just go it's Michael Jordan the greatest of all time there's no doubt right there, there's no doubt and the same same thing with the the, the Michael LeBron thing it, 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 it's 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 the it's the vocal minority. That wants to sit up here and say that LeBron's greater than Michael, or it's the it's the vocal minority that wants to say that the Warriors are better than the Bulls, and and that's just not the case. So this is why this is a kind of like a reaction video and not a point blank period in discussion type video. But I definitely hope I don't have to get to the point where I have to make a damn point blank period in discussion video. About this, or, or or about Michael versus LeBron, it probably will be Michael and LeBron. It, it's probably hard to do a a point blank period in a discussion video comparing teams of different eras, players of different eras. I think you can. Teams might be a little bit harder. But you probably could do it, but I don't think that that's really not the case here. So, but I did just want to do a video about this. So just to maybe kind of set the world straight on what it is. You have Michael Jordan, that team's always going to win. So let's stop the nonsense, people. However, post your comments down below. Say your opinions. Give your thoughts. Have your discussions. Be, be, be civilized, though. I don't want to have to go through and, you know, block people. I don't like doing that. But... Go ahead and have your discussions and everything. Be civilized, and 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 you know, I, I think the discussion is. I don't. I, I, I say this. It's good talk. It, it makes for good talk radio, right? Good talk radio. Good talk blogging. It, it's, it's it's a good topic. So, you guys, have your discussions. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. Like. Share and subscribe. And I'm out.